You know, on all my YouTube and Amazon videos, I always use the same two word welcome. And never have they been more fitting than this video, because they're inspired by Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. So, hello there. Tough Monkey here. Hope that you're all well. Okay, so today's product review is for the newly released LEGO 75333 model. That's Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter. Released to coincide with the new Star Wars Obi-Wan series on Disney+. Plus. Although, I say released to uh, coincide with it. Uh, that was a couple of months ago, so uh, LEGO a little bit missed the boat. But never mind. Although, having said that, this Starfighter doesn't actually appear in the new series at all. It actually dates from the uh, 2002 film Attack of the Clones, Episode 2. Uh, in fact, the only ship that's been released so far is the Inquisitor ship, which, uh, as a bit of an aside, when we sat down and watched the uh, Obi-Wan series, I said to my wife as soon as the Inquisitor ship came into view, there you go, there's the new Lego spaceship. I haven't bought that one yet. In fact, I'm looking around the office at the moment and I can't see anywhere that I could possibly put it. I might have to give that one a bit of a miss. Anyway, Obi-Wan's Starfighter. I'm going to let you watch this uh, in the background while I talk over it. I'm not going to subject you to the whole build because that would be cruel. Um, but as you can see on the uh, soundbar in front of me there is the uh, Aston Martin DB5 that I only made uh, yesterday evening. Uh, that one cost me £18. The RRP on it is £20. And it took me 45 minutes. Uh, the Jedi Starfighter that I'm doing now, this one cost me about £24-£25. So you'd think it would take me longer to build than it did the Aston Martin but it didn't turn out to be the case in fact I completed this in less than 35 minutes and uh, I didn't really have my foot to the floor to be totally honest with you there's uh, there are three bags uh, that you have to build with this one um, and the first bag is the uh, the main fuselage of uh, Obi-Wan's spaceship and the uh, the two other bags are basically the wings um, there's not a great deal uh, other than that, really, it's uh, it's quite a simplistic model, though it's not a uh, it's not a boring model. Even though you are perhaps duplicating the two wings, uh, it uh, it's not the most fascinating, but it's not boring. The model does suffer from one of my usual pet peeves with uh, Lego models, and that's uh, the inclusion of a lot of stickers, as you can see me sticking on there. Um, I really don't like stickers with Lego models. They're, they never go on straight, and it makes the, uh, the model look tatty. Uh, and plus, my dog's hair gets stuck in them. It's, uh, I just don't like them. They're a pain in the backside. I wish they wouldn't do them all the time. But... What else do I say about this model? Well, you get three mini uh, mini figures with this one. You get Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, he comes with uh, either long hair or a um, Jedi cowl. You also get uh, one of the droids, R4P17. And you also get one of the uh, Kamino administrators, Town Way. But one thing that you don't get is the hyperspace ring that uh, is shown in the film. When uh, when Obi-Wan is chasing Jango Fett, uh, he's chasing the uh, Slave One spaceship. And to get to hyperspeed, he uh, connects himself to um, this ring design, uh, which he then discards before he gets into the battle with um, Jango Fett. Uh, but that's not included in this uh, model at all, which is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, what else can I say, though? <sighs> $24.99. Is it good value? I'm not too sure. And that's one thing. What I'm tapping at there is that um, the uh, the R4 droid, uh, he can fit inside the spaceship, but to do that, you have to take off his head, which was a little bit odd. Not too sure why he needed to do that. Um, Obi-Wan himself, he can fit inside the uh, spaceship, but you do need to take his lightsaber off. There's a, uh, a clip underneath the spaceship for um, attaching the lightsaber to. I'm pretty sure they don't do that in the movie. But, uh, like I say, $24.99, is it good value? Well, the Star Wars ships always seem to be a little bit more expensive for the number of bricks and the amount of time it takes to build the things. Um, is it worth it? Well, it, to me, it's not an iconic ship. I mean, you, you look at things like... Uh, you know, X-Wings, Y-Wings and uh, various space shuttles and TIE Fighters. But this one, it kind of blends into the background. I'm, I'm looking around the office at the moment. I'm not too sure where I'm going to put it, where it's just not going to get lost and get covered in dust. Where, <laughs> like most of the models, to be totally honest. Um, and as you see, it took me 35 minutes, which was uh, 10 minutes less than the uh, DB5 in the background took me to do. So, um, it was more money for a shorter build and not as good a model, I didn't think. So, uh, I'm only going to give this three stars. It's uh, it's not the best Star Wars model I've got. Not the most enjoyable of builds. And uh, a bit bland, to be totally honest. Well, see you next time. <laughs>